Hi everybody, good afternoon. It's Alyssa with Lux Pride and I'm here today for a Pride craft. So, first thing, you need to get together your supplies and for this craft you are going to need some white paper and you are going to need some colorful construction paper. As many colors as you would like. Now, if you don't happen to have construction paper at home, that's okay. Just get yourself some colored pencils or crayons or markers and that will work for adding some color to your project. You are also going to need to get some glue. If you have a glue stick at home or some Elmer's glue or if you don't have glue at home, ask your grown-up if you can use some tape, but make sure to ask for permission. You are also going to need to ask your grown-up if you can use the scissors. Now make sure that you get safe scissors for you to use and that you have your grown-up's permission and maybe get some help from your grown-up. You are going to need a marker or a pen or a pencil. Now the other thing that you are going to need, and this is where you're going to be creative, is you are going to need some sort of circle shape. Now, today we are going to be making pride flowers. These are my samples for right now, but what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making circles. Now, I happen to make two different size circles, so you can do whatever size circle that you like. Now, if you happen to have a grown-up at home at home that is crafty and has a circle hole punch, that's perfect and you're all set. If you're like me and you don't have a circle hole punch, you need to, and you're not very good at free drawing a circle, there are some workarounds. Find things that are circle shaped. A bottle cap. A cup. The bottom of your cup is a nice circle. The top of your cup is a nice circle. Look, you have two different size circles in one thing with your cup. Your glue stick. That's a circle. For today, for my size circles, I am using a bottle of lotion and a bottle of perfume. So those are the circles that I'm tracing today. But I bet if you looked at your house, you could find lots of different things that are circles that you could trace. So for our first step, you just have to decide what size circle you want. Now remember, we're going to be putting all of our circles onto our piece of paper. So you don't want to make something that is too big of a circle where you can't then make, if you put something that's one big, huge circle, then you can't put more than one circle. So, we're going to take our first piece of paper, and you're going to put your object down on it to trace. Now, if you had a full big sheet of paper, would you want to put your object right smack dab in the middle of it to trace? No. That doesn't make any sense. Because then you've got to cut all the way into the middle of the sheet of paper. So if this was my big full sheet of paper, I don't want to put it in the middle. Because then I've got to cut all the way in and all the way around, and I've wasted a whole bunch of paper. So what you want to do with your big sheet of paper is you want to find the corner and put your object on the corner on the edge, and that's where you're going to trace. I happen to have a small piece of scrap paper that I'm using right now, but it's going to be the same principle. I don't want to put it over here in the middle. That's more cutting for me. So I'm still, I'm going to put it up here in the top corner as close to the edge as I can get and still keep my circle. And then I just trace right around my circle. Look at that. Is it perfect? No. But do we expect perfect? No. All right, so you are going to do that for however many circles you think you're going to want for however many colors you think you're going to want. Once you've done that, then come back and we'll go on to the next step. All right, so you've drawn all your circles and now you're ready for the next step? Okay, so we're going to cut out our circles now. So we're going to get our scissors and we're going to be very careful with our scissors and we're going to cut out all of our circles. Now see how, because I started on the edge here, I can just start right like that 
and go right quick and easy around. my circle. Look at that. Now if I had drawn a second circle I would have tried to put it right smack up there so I could just start again and keep going. Alright, now you're going to cut out all your circles right now. Once you get all your circles cut out, come back and we'll do the next step. Alright, you've got all your circles cut out now. Do you have a bunch of different sizes and shapes and colors, or did you do only a couple colors in one size? It's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. And now comes the fun part. Now we get to be creative. Now you get to think about what do you want your flowers to look like? Do you want them to look like my sample? This is kind of a lilac, and this is kind of a like regular flower. Now for these, I folded my circles in half. That's how I kind of got the crescent shape and they look a little three-dimensional. So you can do that. And what I recommend with doing that is, you see how I have my black outline still showing a little bit on this circle? So I'm going to put that facing up. And I'm going to fold that over so when I fold my circle in half, that is on the inside and then I give it a nice firm crease right down the middle. So if you want your flower petals to be shaped like that, all you have to do is fold your circle in half. Now you can do a lot of different things with all of your circles. So let's say I want my red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I can make a flower that looks like that. Sorry, right, I can figure out where my camera is here. There we go. Looks more kind of like a daisy, right? There we go. So that's one kind of flower that we could do. You can be totally creative and do whatever you want with your flowers. Now, once you decide what you want your flower to look like, that's when the fun starts. We start gluing it down onto our white sheet of paper. Little bit of glue. Don't need a whole lot of glue. That's the nice thing about glue sticks. You don't need a lot of glue. Little bit of glue. And once you have your flowers all laid out on your paper, how you want them laid out, you can draw yourself a vase. And don't forget to add the stems to your flowers. And you can put as many flowers on your paper as you want to. All different shapes, all different colors, all different sizes. It's as creative as you want it to be. Now remember, I said that if you didn't have construction paper at home, that was okay. All you have to do is trace your circles onto your white sheet of paper and color them in. And that's how you can make colorful circles with white paper. All right, I hope that you guys enjoyed our Pride Craft. Happy Pride!